Hello, everyone. Very glad to introduce our work. I'm Zihua Si from Gaoling School of Artificial Intelligence, Renmin University of China. This introduction consists of four parts. Let's move on to the first part. In this work, we focus on using search data to facilitate recommendation model. Recent years, a large number of content platforms provide both search and recommendation services, which serve the same set of users with the same set of items. As shown in this figure, users often use recommendation and search simultaneously. In such scenario, user issue queries and click return items. In recommendation scenario, users browse return items. There exist overlapping items in both services. It provides us a chance to improve recommendation performance using search data. Now let's look at the user atom uh, interactions in recommendation system. Existing recommendation systems usually assume users click atoms due to their preferences. However, bios in recommendation data is ubiquitous. There always exist unobserved confoundings in real-world data. For example, user behaviors may be affected by display ranking position, popularity of item, price of promotions. Next, I'm going to introduce some preliminaries. We formulate the cause effect in recommendation in this causal graph. Treatment TUI denotes the user item pair, that is, user U and item I. Outcome YUI denotes the feedback in recommender system, that is, click. Confounder B denotes confounding factors, for example, position values. Conventional recommender systems assume that there exists only causal relationship between treatment and outcome, which is the blue arrow in the figure. In fact, confounders lead to a non-causal relationship, that which is the red arrow. To identify the two different relationships, we utilize instrumental variables, which is an excellent method in econometrics. The method of instrumental variables is used to estimate cause effect when a treatment is not successfully delivered to every unit in a randomized experiment. Intuitively, it leverages a variable Z, which is connected to outcome Y, only while treatment T, and not affected by the confounder Z. Instrumental variables usually take two stages. Firstly, regress treatment on instrumental variables. Secondly, regress outcomes on the reconstructed treatments in the first stage. Then we can get estimate of causal relationship between treatment and outcome. Next, I'm going to introduce the proposed model. In this model, we define the treatment as a set of embeddings, including the embedding of the target item I and the embeddings of the items interacted with user U. The corresponding instrumental variables ZUI of treatment TUI is defined as a set of matrices ZJ, where each matrix ZJ is defined as a stack of the embeddings of the search query. ZJ is defined as a stack of the embeddings 
of the search queries related to item J. Note that ZJ corresponds to the vector TJ in treatment TUI, and each vector in ZJ is the embedding of a query which clicked corresponding item J. In general, we embed users' search behaviors as instrumental variables to help decompose original embedding vectors in recommendation into causal and non-causal parts. As shown in the right figure, we use instrumental variables to separate T hat and T tilde, representing causal and non-causal parts respectively. After decomposition, we then combine the two parts through deep neural networks. The combined results are called reconstructed treatment, denoted by TRE, and they are used for recommendation model to predict the outcomes. In specific, shown in equation three, to decompose treatment, we first use an MLP to map item embedding to a latent space, and then regress TUI on ZUI to get T hat UI, which doesn't depend on the confounders B. And the T hat UI can be considered as the causal part of treatment. The regression is achieved by a least square regression. Tor is a closed form solution of the least square regression. It's easy to get the residual part of regression, that is treatment variables, TUI minus T hat UI, showing in equation four. The fitted vectors T hat UI and the residual T tilde UI can be recombined, achieving a reconstructed treatment shown in equation five. The weights of combination are estimated by two MLPs, where the inputs of the two different MLPs are concatenations of the transformed TJ and ZJ bounding to item J. Here is an overview on our model. The left part denotes the structure of the underlying model. Underlying models utilize users' historical behaviors to learn user representation through a user modeling and predict the preference score of user item pair based on their learned representations through a prediction module. The right part denoted the detailed implementation of treatment reconstruction mentioned before. Our framework can be applied after the embedding layer of the underlying model. We leverage user search queries to enhance the embeddings in recommendation which is illustrated in the middle part in this figure. Next is the experiment part. In the experiments part, we conduct comprehensive experiments to evaluate our method. Here are the experiments set up. Since our framework requires both search and recommendation logs, we created two datasets. One is collected from logs of Quaisho, a short video application, and the other is based on the publicly available MIME dataset. We use two underlying models, DIN and NIHUB. NIHUB utilizes an attentive multi-view learning framework for news recommendation to aggregate behaviors of users such as search queries, clicked items, 
and the broadest items. DIN applies an attention mechanism to mind user interests from historical behaviors with respect to a certain candidate item. JSR is a general joint training framework that trains a separate search model and recommendation model by optimizing a joint loss. So we compare our framework to this framework JSR. Here are main results. As we can see, our method leads to a significant improvement over corresponding underlying models and outperforms an existing joint training framework for search and recommendation. The results verify the effectiveness of the model agnostic LA4REC framework in improving enemy recommendation model. To verify the effects of queries as instrumental variables, experiments were conducted on the Quaisho dataset. Specifically, we tested the performances of LA4REC when the number of queries extracted for each atom as the instrumental variables. Figure A showed that AOC curves of LA4REC models with respect to different N, we found that with the increased number of N, AOC also increased for both LA4REC uh, HUB and LA4REC DIN. We also tested the performances of LA4REC when a few cores in the instrumental variables were selected randomly rather than the high rank queries according to the clicks in search. Figure B illustrates the AUC curves with respect to different percentage of the queries are clicked queries. When more queries in instrumental variables were set randomly, more hurts to the performances of LA4REC, NRSUB, and LA4REC, DIN. In traditional IV estimation, the residues are discarded. In IV4 rack, we utilize both the fitted part and the residual part. Experiments were done to test the AUC of different modified IV4 rack versions on the Quaisho dataset. They are using only the fitted values, using only the residues using the original treatment without reconstruction, using the reconstructed treatment by concatenating fitted values and residues. Using what we can see that both the fitted part and the residual part have contributions in recommendation. The UC improved a lot when these two parts are combined together as a reconstructed treatment. This result indicates that though they represent the non-causal associations, the residual part can still contribute to user preference prediction. Finally, in this slide, we conclude our contributions. This work is the first attempt to assist recommendation model using search data in a causal learning manner. We present a model agnostic framework to improve recommendation using search data by considering user search behaviors as instrumental variables to help decompose original embeddings in recommendation. Extensive experiments are conducted on a public data set and a real world industrial data set. Experiment results demonstrated that every four rack can consistently enhance different recommendation models. That's all, thank you.